Welcome to our series of short technical discussions. It's all about rope. In this edition, Why Splice? We'll discuss splicing procedures and techniques for performing the recommended splices with various synthetic ropes. Whether you need to form a loop, join the ends of a single rope together to form an endless loop or grommet, or join two separate ropes together into a single longer rope, the best way to achieve your goal is with a properly executed splice. Splices are better than knots. Because of the tight bends that form in most knots when they're tied, knots can cause a rope to lose as much as 50% of its original strength. In most cases, a properly performed splice can retain at least 90% of new rope strength. Since Samson uses spliced ropes when testing the breaking strength on new ropes, following their splicing procedures allows you to retain 100% of the published new rope strength. If you must use a knot, you need to factor in the potential strength reduction when determining the size and strength of the rope to be used. Use the correct splicing method. Ropes vary by their construction and by the fiber or fibers they are made from. And the appropriate splicing procedure will vary with the rope's construction and fiber content. It is critical that the proper splicing procedures are used. The splice procedures published by Samson have been developed for the fiber types and constructions used in Samson's products. There may be times when, due to length or diameter restrictions of specific applications, Samson's published splice procedures cannot be used. While other procedures may be feasible, it is always best to check with your Samson rep or distributor before fabrication. Rope Constructions In general, ropes are either twisted or braided. Twisted ropes can have three, four, or more strands. Single braided constructions typically have eight, 12, or 16 strands. Double braided ropes can either be standard double braids or cord dependent double braids. In standard double braid constructions, the cover and core share the load equally. In cord dependent double braids, the core is the strength member while the cover serves to protect the core from abrasion and damage. Class 1 and Class 2 Ropes What the rope is made from also determines which splice is used. Samson categorizes its ropes into two classes which are determined by the characteristics of the fibers used in its construction. Each class has its own splicing and testing procedures. Class 1 ropes are those made from traditional fibers. These fibers are polypropylene, polyethylene, nylon, and polyester. Class 2 ropes are produced with high modulus fibers, HMPE, high modulus polyethylene, aramids, like Technora, LCP fiber, like Vectran, and PBO fiber, like Xylon. Each of these variations has its own splicing procedures based on both the class of the rope and its construction. Consult the Samson Splicing Manual or check the specifications on Samson's website, samsonrope.com, to determine the proper class of your rope before deciding which procedure is appropriate. Using the wrong splice procedure can lead to failure of the splice under load, an extremely dangerous and unsafe condition. The types of splices. An eye splice is used to form a loop at the end of a rope. Here we see variations of eye splices in different classes and constructions of rope. A three strand eye splice. Eight strand ropes shown here are a class one rope and a class two rope, each with an eye splice. A direct berry eye splice in a class one 12 strand single braided rope. A tuckberry eye splice in a class 2 12 strand single braided rope. A standard double braid eye splice in a class 1 double braid. A cord dependent eye splice in a class 2 cord dependent double braided rope. And a 16 strand climbing rope with its typical eye splice. 
There are actually several more variations for more complex constructions, like the 8x3 strand braid, 12x3 strand braids, or ropes that use specialized coatings. In addition to eye splices, there are also end-for-end -end splices for the different variations of constructions and classes. For three-strand ropes, there is a long splice and a short splice for joining two ends of the same sized ropes. There are standard end-for-end -end splices for eight-strand, 12-strand, double-braided ropes, and core-dependent ropes. All have separate procedures for both Class I and Class II fibers with variations for direct berry and tuck berry configurations for the single braids. In addition to the fiber type and construction, the application can also influence the type of splice used. For 12 strand ropes, there are two types of splices the direct berry splice and the tuck berry splice. There are variations of each method based on the class of the rope to be spliced, so when to use one method over the other. The application will often dictate the choice. This chart compares the two methods. The direct berry splice is easier and quicker to splice and is better on small diameter ropes. When the diameter gets larger, the tuck berry method, although more complex, is a much better solution. When the application dictates that the splice be shorter, the tuckberry method is indicated. It also takes less rope to perform than the direct berry method. If, however, a smooth, clean appearance is required and splice length is not an issue, the direct berry splice is the best option. The tuckberry splice results in the splice tails being exposed. Just be aware that all direct berry splices must be lock stitched. If you'd like to know more about splicing, visit the Samson website at samsonrope.com. There, under the Resources and Literature pull-down menu, you'll find links to videos on splicing along with written instructions in PDF format. In addition to videos and technical bulletins, there are articles, brochures, and catalogs, case studies, technical papers, and videos on a wide variety of subjects concerning rope use and maintenance. Of course, you'll also find full product specifications, a dealer locator, and information about Samson products in many different applications. And for those on the go, the Samson app also includes links to videos and PDF versions of many of Samson's splicing instructions. It's available as a free download through iTunes. Thanks for watching this edition of It's All About Rope.